Hi there, hope you all. This is Mila. Today I am gonna teach you how to model a blanket and a sheet for bed in Marvelous Designer. Before starting this tutorial, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification to be alerted when we share new video. So let's go start. First of all, make a rectangle top of the base mesh and expand it from side to fit the base mesh okay and increase the length okay now move to top of the base mesh after that simulate for have a test and make some point edge exactly to edge of the base mesh Okay, now at the point, again, make some points like the video and move inside the rectangle. Fix exactly as the sum as me. After fix this, uh, copy, control C. After that, move the edge for create the extra edge okay I create extra edge and copy control C and put it the under first one try to this careful and okay now next step I is switching as I do upper parts of to lower parts okay now simulate again now you should pin this area to make this fix and simulate as you see there's no uh, movement at the pin at the pin area okay now simulate and grab this area on the bed and pin after that right click attach all to base mesh now adjust the point I use the attach all to base mesh okay again fix it okay after that it's time to remove all their pin and simulate again and pin again areas as before okay now see remove all all their pin okay all their pin now simulate again in this part we need to change fabric preset from physically property after the simulate as normal okay we can change the fabric preset. Let's create a blanket for a lovely bed. Now, okay, now, okay. So, add the new rectangle, rotate. And uh, this rectangle I, uh, I will use for the blanket. Blanket for a lovely bed. Like the beginning okay decrease the length and top and bottom okay at the new part I create again with the rectangle with use the rectangle and move to top of the main rectangle for blankets okay increase the, the length now again copy this part to lower parts and switch them together okay this copy move to upper the older mesh and switch together now switch, 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 okay, switch together. All of the 
edge switch together note that you should pay attention to face orientation wait white area indicate outside normal darker part indicate inside simulate now change the I think change the fabric preset as before okay simulate again so it's time to freeze unnecessary area with the control key they wouldn't take into account for simulation uh, simulation again change the shrink edge and pressure exactly as I do okay changing shrink edge setting make my fabric stretched and more pressure cause more puffing and um, fab on fabric so it's make crazy results yeah it's good so let's pay to other fabric I think it's good and wait again change the shrink and change the fabric I change manually with the, my with mouse and at the point okay change the pressure it's I think it's good so lower the pressure because my fabric is blowing time the finalized for create the uh, Puffing on my blanket. Second part of the blanket. Again, change the setting for shrink. I tried change the shrink edge and pressure for created a static shape. Okay, you can see the puffing and decrease the pressure. Okay. Again, change it. I think it's good. Yeah. It's nice. Okay, 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 okay. Change again this part and this part and this part. Okay. Time to finally decrease the particle distance to have more detail and hit simulate button. Okay, I think it's finished. That's finished. Don't forget to subscribe us if you enjoy such this video. Goodbye.